Hi, preschool leaders. We're preparing for February 7th in our new series called The Main Thing. In this series, we're taking a look at some of the things that Jesus taught to help direct people to God and ultimately a relationship with God so that um, we could experience new life with him. And today's um, parables, uh, remember a parable is a story that Jesus taught to help us understand something that God about God or about God, um, what God wants for us. And he used everyday things. And the things today, he's going to be talking about things that were lost, um, a sheep that was lost, a, a child that was lost. Um, and so what we see in these stories is um, that, he, that Jesus looks for people who are lost, people who do not know him. And he does this, um, first off, by him becoming man um, was a way for him to make a way for us to not be lost anymore. Um, we also see that um, when we are lost, that God does everything in his power, even now, to try to draw us to him. And there are many things, um, if you talk to somebody who is a new believer, that they can point back and say, you know, there are so many things that happened um, that led to this moment, and I know God was directing me through this the entire time. And so this is, this is a really great lesson to help us see that when things are lost, they are not forgotten, that um, they're just lost, and um, that God desires to find lost people. Your um, activities today, you have a movement song, and you can use the movement song that is on your um, Roku channel. Choose your favorite one. There's lots of different ones to choose from and all kinds of different ones on there. I had fun choosing those for you guys. Um, in fact, my favorite one is the, um, the dancing man one. I just love those balloon things. Just. Just a little side thing. Those, I love those things. They're, they're my most favorite thing, and I, it makes me giggle every time I see one. And so you can use one of those to um, get your kids gathered together and just begin to have a fun experience together. Remember, these social activities are for um, gathering everybody. It's a great transition, but it also is a way for you to build common experiences with each other. I know you're playing with the kids and everything, but um, as, you be, as the kids begin to grow, we will use these social activities as a way to build a relationship with them. And if they know that when they bring a friend to church that their friend's going to get to be a part of these things, these are sometimes the things that kids talk about when they leave so that it's inviting for someone new. You also have um, this if you'd like to sing your movement song with the kids. It's to the tune of If You're Happy and You Know It. And you can add whatever you want to there. I know many of our little ones are enjoying expressing their emotions and figuring out what that looks like. So I think this could be a fun activity for them as well. Then you, on your small group leader guide, I don't know if you've ever paid attention to this. There's a section in your leader guide called Introduce the Story. I always love the wording in this section. It helps me focus on the Bible story as well. And it is a great way to tell the Bible story in kid language so that everybody in your room will understand it. So feel free to read that. You can watch your video. It's on our Roku channel as well. And then for um, the little ones, you have a mess to clean up today. You've got some shredded paper and some coins and some brooms that will be available. What you're going to do is spread the coins on the ground underneath the shredded paper and the kids are supposed to help you clean up and find the coins. Remember, we're finding things. If you have three and four year olds, you're gonna play hide and go seek. And who doesn't love a good game of hide and go seek? If you'd like to bring a stuffed animal from home and you hide, kids can take turns hiding the stuffed animal, you can do that as well totally up to you how you want to do that. But what we want kids to see through this activity is that when things are lost, God does everything 
in his power to try to um, find that person so that they have the opportunity to know who Jesus is and believe in him. Thank you so much for leading kids today and loving them. You also have coloring pages that you can use if you would like to do that today with your kiddos. We look forward to seeing you guys soon. Love you.